Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Dissolve tool in QGIS. So before getting started with QGIS, so let us understand how this tool works. So the Dissolve tool unifies boundary based on common attributes. For example, if you take a country, uh, there will be a several uh, states which will be found inside a country and within the states you will be having several uh, districts. So if you want to form a states, form a state level boundary, so we have to merge district level boundary together to form a state. And to form a country boundary, we need to merge all the state boundaries to form a country boundary. So that is what this tool does. So uh, the dissolve merges neighboring boundaries if the neighbors have same attributes. So these should be having same attributes. For example, these are states. Take for example, these are states and this is country A. <coughs> and it must be having a common attribute called as the attribute contain, should contain for example country A. So these three should be sharing the same attributes so that it can be merged together as a country. So now let us uh, go to the uh, QJS and let us see how we should use this tool in QJS. So as you can see here, this is the boundary file and here you can see a lot of subdivision available. So I've just symbolized it and uh, here there are around there are around seven major divisions, but it is uh, it is not been properly uh, dissolved using dissolve tool. And I have just symbolized it based on the attributes. Uh, you can see a lot of subdivisions are being there. So how we are going to dissolve this and how we are going to get uh, these seven divisions separately. So let us see that. So here properties. Let me make it here. I have just uh, categorized it so that uh, you are seeing it as a different uh, layer. Now you can see here there are a lot of subdivisions inside this file. Let me show you that. Let me change the color here. And now you can see here there are around a lot of subdivisions are there. So previously I have shown you seven main subdivisions. So we are going to use the dissolve tool to merge it and we are going to get seven major subdivisions of this layer. So let us show you how to do that. So you can see the option vector. Here you can find the option geoprocessing tools. Under that you can find the option dissolve tool. So you can see here input layer. So the input layer that the layer which is to be used for dissolving and if you want you can click here and browse the file as well and you can see the option over here dissolve fields so we should uh, check it so which field should be used for dissolve the shape file so here you can see I am having a tensile level uh, attribute so let me open the attribute and show you so this is the uh, tensile level attribute you can see I am having the I am having the district I'm having the tensile name so I'm going to use this tensile name and I'm going to make this as a seven major boundary so let me click on tensile click OK now if you want you can uh, have it as a temporary file or you can save it now I'm just uh, leaving to temporary file and let me run this so after running it, let me open the result and show you how it looks like. So you can see here, you can see the results. Previously how it looked like, now it is now how it is looking. So pre previously a lot of uh, small uh, tensils were formed. Now it has been combined and you can see there are around seven major taluks. These uh, tensils have been, or the tensils have been uh, formed as a seven major looks so you can furtherly uh, furtherly dissolve it and you can make it as a single district let me show you that also once again click on the option raster 
geoprocessing dissolve to here i am going to use the attributes you can see here dhq name so i'll show you it in the attributes so it is nothing but the district name so i'm going to use this attribute and i'm going to combine it as a district file so you can see the result so first uh, you can see the variation first we had loss of uh, tensors after that we have uh, reduced and we have used the dissolve tool and we have made it into seven uh, major taluks after that we have used the dissolve tool once again and we have made a you can see we have made a district file out of it so likewise you can use the dissolve tool so if you have any doubts in this you can also ask me in the comment section this can be also used for uh, dissolving uh, line i haven't tried with points but i have tried with lines streams based on their class i have done it so you can use for use it for line polygon tool uh, line and polygon so thanks for watching terra special please do subscribe the channel goodbye everyone